I have breaking news you need to hear. You need to share this everywhere. Shout out to Central Banker World War III. I will put his channel link in the description for bringing this to my attention. Go over there and show him love. Now, let's watch the video and then we'll talk. We are beginning a program today which will certainly grow into something larger and larger and that is a community contact tracing program. We've done contact tracing all along. That a contact is a person who's been exposed to someone that we document to have the COVID infection. When we find someone who has a COVID infection, those people are immediately isolated. But we also work with them to figure out who their contacts were. Uh, but the purpose of this program is to bring on people. We may bring on up to 50 or even more as the program grows and as we see the needs for it. As we do more testing, we will find more and more people who have COVID-19. And again, we'll isolate every one of them and we will find every one of their contacts and we will make sure that they stay quarantined and we'll check in with them every day. We're gonna do a more complete job and we're gonna do a more meticulous job of making it less and less possible for others in the county to run into someone with COVID-19 infection. It's not just our county. There are gonna be thousands of, of people hired who will be these contact investigators throughout the state. And this is occurring in many, many other states as well, perhaps all of the states in our country. Um, we will be giving intensive training to these people, identifying and finding contacts. Some of the people we find are going to have trouble being isolated. For instance, if they live in a home where there's only one bathroom and there are three or four other people living there and those people don't have COVID infection, we're not gonna be able to keep the person in that home. Every person who we're isolating, for instance, needs to have uh, their own bathroom. And so we'll be moving people like this into other kinds of housing that we have available. Yeah, so you heard what they said, people. They're going, if you have COVID and other people in your household do not, if you cannot isolate properly, they're just going to take you up out of the house. Or if it's your child that has COVID-19, they're going to try to take your child and take them to God knows where, possibly FEMA camps or something. So he's saying this is about to start all over the country. Watch the video and listen and pay attention. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Central Banker, for bringing that video to my attention. Now, what do we know? We know now why they staged tanks, Humvees, military equipment all over the country in large amounts. We know why they recently moved FEMA coffins around the country again. It's because of what is about to take place. Now, they're rolling this out in California first. You know how they do it. If, if we don't go absolutely berserk about what they're doing in California, they're gonna do it everywhere. He says in that video, it's coming to every state. If someone has been diagnosed with COVID-19, they are coming to their house, removing them from the home, putting them in quarantine. They're also going to be tracing down anyone that COVID-19 infected person has came into contact with and taking them to quarantine too. No one should ever be allowed to unlawfully enter your home, vaccinate you, quarantine you, take away your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your child, your spouse. Don't allow it. If we don't stand up right now for California and demand that this stop, it's going to be everywhere next. He said it's coming to every state. Go back, rewind the video. The California official said it is coming to every state. They're going to roll it out slowly and try to not make a big deal about it. People are going to be disappearing. We need to stand up right now.